Paris, the city of light, the capital in the empire of love. People from all over the world fantasize about visiting this romantic dreamland at least once in their lifetime. But does it live up to all the hype? My name is Ricky Marino, and I'm going to show you the most popular tourist attractions in the city and all the reasons why I love Paris. You love Paris. I love Paris. Welcome to Paris. All right, so you're at the airport. You want to follow all the signs to the RER B trains. They cost about 10 euros and will take you into central Paris in about 30, 45 minutes. And from there, you can switch to the metro and go to whatever stop you're trying to get to and get to your hotel. Once you're all checked in, you're settled into your hotel, the first thing I recommend you do is you get on the metro, you take it to the Trocadero stop. Once you're in the Trocadero stop, you follow the signs for Tour Eiffel, walk up this escalator, follow around, and right past the crepe stand, you're gonna get the most amazing first impression of Paris. Sit and daydream for a while. Let your worries just dissolve into the Paris sky. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful... We all grew up with images of this tower burned into our brains from TV and movies to history books in school, but to actually come here and see this in person, it, it really is worth all the hype. To stand in front of this tower, it's just, it's amazing. It's a, it gives you an amazing feeling to, to be here in person. If you want to go to the top of the tower, remember, so does everyone else. So be prepared for security checkpoints and long ticket lines. You can take an elevator to the top, but you know a line is too long when suddenly 704 steps to the second level look much more appealing. And no matter how high up the tower you choose to go, you'll find sweeping 360 views of the city. It's really cool being up here, but I feel kind of let down that I could see everything in Paris except for the Eiffel Tower. The Notre Dame is the most visited tourist attraction in Paris. This cathedral was built in the height of the Dark Ages and looks the same today as it did when people were living in filth and battling plagues outside its doors. I can't imagine the power a cathedral like this must have represented to the people when it was built, with its huge candlelit archways and intricate stained glass windows. It's the prime example of French Gothic architecture. And being the historical center of Paris, you'll find that it's an ideal meeting place for both tourists and locals. Just tell your friends to meet you in front of the Notre Dame. If you're anything like me and you love paying money to climb steep, never-ending staircases as much as I do, you gotta go to the top of the Notre Dame and see the view with the gargoyles looking out over the city. All right, this shouldn't be too hard. Here we go. taking the steps up the Notre Dame only to the most experienced tourists. The 
Louvre is the one museum in the world that even people who don't like museums have to go see. And the sun's going down now and it's about to close, but uh, I have just enough time to go see the Mona Lisa, which is what most people come here to see anyway, so I'm gonna go see the Mona Lisa. Have you ever had one of those dreams where you're walking through a long hallway and you're walking and walking and walking, but it never comes to an end? Yeah, it's true. Here in the Louvre, you're looking at some of the finest art in the world. But there's just so much of it that after a while, it all just starts to look like one big old French orgy. You know, it's funny, I didn't think the Mona Lisa was going to be so small. And it's crazy because this painting gets so much attention every single day. And I'm looking around this gigantic room, all these other enormous masterpieces, and people just walk right by without even one glance. And I feel so sorry for all these other paintings. I'm so sick and tired of being ignored, stupid Mona. <laughs> well, I can honestly say that I've spent enough time in the Louvre for the rest of my life. The catacombs of Paris were never meant to be a tourist attraction. About 300 years ago, as the city was expanding, cemeteries were excavated and the remains of over 6 million people, many of whom were victims of the bubonic plague, were placed within this labyrinth of abandoned limestone mines that stretch underneath the streets of Paris. And now a small portion of these mines are open to the public today. So many stories buried underground and if these memories could tell their stories what would they say Once the realization actually hit me that each one of these skulls was an individual human being with their own story, and now they're just, they're just heaped together here in massive, massive piles, this overwhelming feeling of just sadness and terror just, just overcame me and just kind of just really makes me want to get out of here now. The metro is an efficient way to travel around Paris. If you plan on using it a lot, 
buy your tickets in bulk to save some money. You'll be issued paper tickets, which is rare these days for a major city, and can get kind of annoying since you'll have to keep track of a wad of paper in your pocket all the time. But the metro is safe, it's reliable, it's fast, and everyone uses it. I recommend downloading one of the Paris Metro apps on your phone. They have interactive maps that will display your route without the need of an internet connection, and you'll be at sites like the Arc de Triomphe in no time. Unless you really like fancy shopping or love Napoleon, there's really no need to come to the Arc de Triomphe for the Champs Elysees, but it would kind of suck to come to Paris and not get this picture. A very popular thing to do in Paris is to have a picnic. And it's something you could do year round uh, in a park or in a very touristy place. And I got some good stuff here. I got a baguette, I got some sliced meat, I got some cheese, I got some champagne. And you can't come to Paris and not try escargot. And in this case, escartugo. <laughs> and I should have thought this through a little more. Uh, they're a little cold and I've been carrying around for a couple hours. But you gotta try it when you're in Paris, right? Oh, God. Here it comes. I almost got it out of the shell. It's fighting me. There it is. Oh! I'm in my favorite part of Paris now. It's called Montmartre. And what makes this place so amazing is that you have this incredible cathedral called the Sacre Coeur, which sits on top of the highest point in Paris. And Montmartre is a sacred hill that was used for worship by ancient peoples like the Druids. It was a site of Roman temples at one time and eventually becoming a home for selfie sticks and the Sacre Coeur. Now to get to the top, it's 300 steps. And I know what you're thinking, walking up another steep staircase is probably the last thing you want to do. But believe me when I say that the panoramic views of Paris you'll be rewarded with at the top will be well worth the hike. Behind the cathedral, you'll find what I think is the most charming neighborhood in Paris. A lot of people will recommend that you skip it because it's too touristy. But I say go for that exact reason. This is where you'll find the Paris you've always imagined with its twisting cobblestone alleyways, some of the best souvenir shops, plenty of French bistros, and that infamous French attitude that tourists have learned to embrace. And Montmartre is a haven for artists, and they gather here to display and sell their work. And it's by far the best place to get the ultimate Paris souvenir, a caricature drawing of yourself. And prices are always negotiable, but remember that you usually get what you pay for, so don't be too cheap. Merci. Merci beaucoup. For once, it's nice to skip all the stairs and take in the sights one last time on a Seine River cruise. Just sit back, relax, and let the city come to you. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, when is the next boat? Five minutes. Five minutes? Can I have one ticket? Yes. Okay, thank you. 
Merci. There's a magic here, unlike anywhere else in the world, and it's going to be hard to leave such an amazing place. Come here for yourself, and you'll be sure to fall in love with Paris, just like I have. Let's take a ride through the city of light one more time before we say goodbye. Goodbye, Paris. Au revoir. Whoa, whoa. There's so many things to see and do in your tour of Paris, and there's no way you'll get to all of them in just one trip. But there's still one last thing that I have to do before I go. Out of all the things that you can do in this city, the one thing that will never ever disappoint is ordering a crepe from a crepe stand. Who's I would on? like one banana Nutella crepe. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, USA. US. Yeah. You're welcome to Paris. Thank you so much. Merci.